<laughs> All right, let's let's go into significant figures. First of all, uh, what are significant figures? Why are them so important? Well, first of all, significant figures are digits which tell certainty in a number. What does it mean? Well, for example, here we are measuring the volume of a liquid. The first thing that you have to, to see is what are the numbers in the scale and what does every line represent? For example, the liquid is at this level, but you can see that between 20 and 25, look at this, you have five lines, yeah? One, two, three, four, five. And from 20 to 25, you have five milliliters. It's okay? Then if you divide five milliliters by the number of lines, you will see that every line represents one milliliter. Then you say, well, the, the meniscus of the, of the liquid, that is this one that you can see here. Let me, let me show you. This is what we call meniscus, the lower part, the lower part of the measure of the, of the volume, yeah? Then you yeah. see that is between this line and this line, but this line, is 21, yeah, um, and, this, okay, one, and this one is 22. So from 21 to 22, you, you can say that maybe is 0 0.5, yeah? That's why you are estimating the 0 0.5. Maybe another student can say 0.6. 0.6, another student can say 0.4. It depends on the one that is doing the measurement. That's why we call this estimated, estimated, all right? All right, so, hey, Professor, um, someone so is trying to join the meeting, but they can't. Okay, let me, let me, let me go. Let me, sorry, I was paying just fully <laughs> attention <laughs> to well. you, okay. <laughs> Oh, there are three ones. <laughs> yeah, sorry okay. to interrupt. <laughs> okay, let me go. Victoria, Victoria Carmen, Cornejo. Hello, Victoria. The microphone is mute. Unmute the microphone, Victoria. Victoria? Okay, well, let's continue in the meanwhile. Then we were saying that we are certain of 21. Okay, uh, it works are, now. Uh, but okay, Victoria. <laughs> okay, we are talking about measurements and significant figures. And it depends on the scale that you are using. You can do the measurement with, with different scales and the number that you will uh, uh, obtain will be different. Well, according with this scale, we know that every line is one milliliter. Then the liquid is at this level. You say, I am sure that is 21, but it's five. Then the number that you are given is 21.5 milliliters and in this number you have how many significant figures three significant figures suppose that the level was exactly here at 21 if the level is at 21 you have to say 
because you always have to assume that, it, that you are able by the instrument that you are using. Understood? Yes. Victoria, Evelyn, do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. yes, sir. May I continue? Yes. yes, sir. All right, let's go. Look at this. We are doing the measurement of this steel road and we are using a ruler. Then you can see that for sure, what is certain is that it's 9.1, but it's a little more. And then you estimate that is a two after the one, yeah? Because between these two lines, I'm going to put it bigger. You divide this into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You divide between the two lines in your in your in your mind. Yeah, you're not going to do this in the scale. And you say, well, it's until here, then it's 9.1 for sure. 9.1 for sure, but it's a little more. Then I'm going to estimate 9.12 centimeters. The unit is always important. If you write a number, this number doesn't have meaning by itself. If you don't use the unit, your answer is incorrect. Understood? Yes. And in this number, yeah. how many significant figures we have? One, two, three. Three significant figures. Okay, let's continue then. Look at this. What are the rules for significance figures? For example, in 32, you have two significant figures because all the numbers different from zero are significant. That's the first rule. For example, in this number, you have three numbers different from zero and you have two zeros to the left. These zeros to the left are never significant. So you have here only one, two, three significant figures. Got it? Oh, but in this case, you have two zeros in between, like a sandwich, yeah? With, they call sandwiched zeros. These are significant, always significant. Then here you have one, two, three, four significant figures. But what happened in this one? They are trailing zeros. You don't have any dot. So these zeros are not significant. And you consider this as only one significant figure. But if you have a decimal dot, a decimal dot, then you have one, two, three significant figures because these zeros are considered significant. For example, in this number, you have one, two, three, four, five significant figures. Why? Because you have a decimal dot. These are sandwiched zeros, they are significant. And this zero is after a decimal dot. So it's also significant. If you are going to do an operation, look at this, like this one, you have that this number, you are first, you have to do first this operation, yeah? Because it's into parentheses. Then you say 3.111, 5.1, zero, three is an addition. Then what you do? You make a line by the number with least decimal and you do your operation is 8.141. But what happened? This number is not going to be reported. You have to report until the number with least decimals. So your answer is this one. As this number is lower than five, you don't round up. You skip this number. Got it? Well, later you multiply by 33. And from this operation, I don't know what would be the answer, but I know that because one of the factors 
has only two significant figures, you have to report in your answer only two significant figures. I'm going to explain it better right now, but by now, do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. When, when you don't understand, just let me know and I'm going to stop and I'm going to explain you once again. Look at this. Rules um, during operations. Well, if you are adding, as I told you before, you have to make a line by the number with least decimals. Uh, in this number, the first number you're going to skip is five or higher than five, then you round up and your answer is this one. Here you are subtracting and you're going to do the same, um, the same operation. You make a line by here and you will report until here, but the first number you're going to skip is higher than five, then you round up and you, and your answer is this one. Then your answer, we have three significant figures. And here also three significant figures. In addition and subtraction, you make a line by the number with least decimal. Got it? When you are multiplying or dividing, then you have to pay attention to the number with least significant figures. In this case, this number has only two significant figures. So in your answer, you will report only two significant figures. You have to skip the first number. You will skip is six. So you have to round up. And your answer um, will have also two significant questions. Uh, yes, Mr. Thar. Uh, so if there is a, a, a period or decimal in front of this with the zeros, it still doesn't count? No, remember, zeros to the left are the not leading. significant. So even with the decimal points, still No, no problem. No, okay. no, no matter if it is, if there is a decimal point, always zeros to the left are not okay. significant. Okay, thank you. I, I, I always say to my students, they are like husband. They are not significant at home. <laughs> okay? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> All right. And here, as you can see, this number has five significant figures. These zeros are significant because you have a decimal point, yeah? And here you have three significant because these zeros is also significant. These two are not because are to the left. Then the number with least significant figures in this division is this one. Three significant figures, then you have to report three significant figures. In this case, the first number you're going to skip is higher than five, then you round up. Got yes. it? Then here you have the four most important operations that you're going to make. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. For addition and subtraction, remember the number with least decimals. With multi in multiplication and division, the number with least significant figures. That's the rule. May I continue? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Well, if you are doing a conversion, for example, you are going to convert meters to miles and seconds to hours. Let's see what we do. The number that you are, uh, the given number, it's the correct answer, the correct name, sorry. The given number has how many significant figures? Three significant figures. Then you can make all this operation that I will, I will teach you later. This is what we call dimensional analysis, but in a conversion, any conversion, you have to see what is the number of significant figures in the given number, and it must be exactly the number of significant figures to be reported in your answer. This is another rule. The number of significant figures to be reported in a conversion depends on the number of significant figures given. Got it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good, good, good. 
Well, let's go to see what is the conversion factor in order to do this conversion. Let's see. For example, you know that one, that one foot is 12 inches. Then with this con conversion, you can make two conversion factors. You can say one foot over 12 inches or 12 inches over one foot. Which one are you going to use? Oh, depends on. If I am giving you, for example, a 12 feet, then which one are you going to use? You're going to use the one that has feet below and inches above in such a way that you can cancel this with this and you will get the, the unit that you are asked for. Then in the conversions factors can be used according with the given number and what you are asked for. Got it. Here you have different uh, conversion factor. For example, a thousand meters is one kilometer or a meter is a hundred centimeters or one meter is a thousand millimeters. All these are conversion factors. Same thing here, down. Okay, well, well, let's go to the most important part, dimensional analysis. I tell my students always, or I always tell my students, sorry, that this is the math in chemistry. The math in chemistry is dimensional analysis. If you don't understand it, you can go to, to YouTube and find a lot of videos and you must know it by heart because if you don't, you're going to be in trouble in chemistry. Well, for example, the factor level is the method that also is known as dimensional analysis it requires us to use ratios or what I told you before, conversion factors. This is a very one that, very important one that you're going to use a lot in chemistry. You will have this in maybe two weeks. Look at this. I'm going to show you uh, an example. How many days? The question is, days are in 1.00 seconds, seconds, then 1.00 seconds. How many significant figures are here? How many? You can tell me. Right. How many are okay. here? Okay. How many significant figures are here in this number? Three. Three. Oh, I, I couldn't listen. Okay. Three significant figures. Then your answer must have how many? Three. Also three. three. Okay. Then you begin by here. You say one second. And then you are going to convert second into minutes. You know, 60 seconds is one minute. And you put this conversion factor in such a way that you can cancel seconds with seconds. But you need minutes. No, you need days. Then you say, well, I have 60 minutes in one hour. And then you cancel minutes with minutes. Now you have hours. But you're not, you don't need hours. You need days. And you know that you have 24 hours in one day. And this is what I need, day. Then you cancel hours with hours, and when you multiply one by one by one by one, and you divide by 60 times 60 times 24, you get this number. And the unit is days, the one that you are asked for. How many significant figures you're going to report? Only three. 
according with the given number. Given number, three significant figures. Answer, three significant figures too. And you use dimensional analysis in order to report this because it's a very, very small number. You're not going to write 0 0.00001167 days. No, you don't use this. You use scientific notation. Then in this case, you move the dot one, two, three, four, five times. And you have 1.16 uh, times. Let's see what happened. <laughs> Asking me for more time, I asked. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, go back. Okay, are you there? Yes, sir. Oh, sorry. Yes. I'm sorry for the interruption. Then we were here that uh, the number you're going to report will have the same number of significance. Let me continue. Any question about this? It's okay? Yes, sir. No. Tell me? No, I don't have any questions. Okay, um, let's, any questions. let's continue then. Now, that's all what I have prepared for you. Do you have any other questions, something that you want me to explain? Um, for the exam that's coming up, um, like for all the answers, do they require um, the scientific notation? You want to, yeah, yeah, you need scientific notation for sure. Do you have any question about scientific notation? Uh, no, I just, uh, just that. Yeah, uh, the, the following exam and all the exams will be very similar to uh, the homework. Same question, same type. That's why I told you in the, in the first meeting that the most important part of this class are, are homework. Because uh, every exam is 150 points. If you, if you get uh, the, the maximum number of points in the exams, you will be verified. And in order to have a very good grade in the exams, you need to uh, do the homeworks the best you can. If you um, don't understand any question, just ask me and I will tell you what, what will be the, the correct answer. Okay? Got it? Okay. Yeah. Yes. A any other question? No um... question? Um, so the homeworks and worksheets that we've been doing, those are basically our reviews for the exam? Yes, exactly the very uh, type of questions. Got it? Okay. Well, okay. It, will, it will be longer, of course, uh, because you have three hours to do the exam. Then you, you can choose, I, I will open the exam on Sunday. But when you... Um, begin working, you know that you have only three hours to finish it. Of course, it will be plenty. It will be plenty of time to, to do your exam. You will finish earlier than two, three hours. All okay. right? Okay, thank you. Okay, have a good day. Uh, okay. a good thank day. you. Bye-bye. Bye. You bye. Too. bye.